Hey y'all, it's Jaina. I'm the founder and herbalist of Fit Dimension, and I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite ways to take care of your skin after wearing a mask. Which you, we should all be wearing masks when we go out in public, so I'm gonna be sharing some ways that you can take extra good care of your skin to prevent breakout and irritation from wearing a mask. Um, one of the reasons that people are experiencing breakout from the mask is because when you put it on, you're trapping the moisture from your mouth in the mask so the moisture is going to redeposit on your skin and that is going to be a host for bacteria and which can often cause breakout blackhead whitehead or irritation of the skin if you have dry skin you might see like exo eczema flare-ups and different rough patches on your skin um so i'm going to talk about ways that you can take care of your skin to pre prevent that and to speed up the duration of healing if you do experience a breakout you're going to notice with the masks that they touch on your cheekbones and your jawline as well as your nose um, and kind of along the jaw. So the jawline is an area where a lot of folks experience cyclical breakout. The nose is an area where people experience a lot of um, blackheads and maybe enlarged pores. And the cheekbone typically isn't an area um, specific to breakout if you experience it cyclically, but you're gonna notice most likely that you're gonna see blackheads or pimples in this region, this region, and this region thanks to the mask. Um, sometimes we're gonna see them on the top of our lip as well, especially because it is August. I live in Louisiana, it is really hot right now. The sun is beating down on me, so I'm already sweating. Um, and yeah, so this is an area where you might see some of those like hardened pimples as well. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you're switching out your masks often. I have a few masks that I like to wear. I wear them for a day and then I batch wash them with a fragrance-free laundry detergent on a day when I know I'm not leaving the house. Ideally, you want to wash your mask once a day. So you wanna wash your mask after using it. I know realistically that might be out of reach for a lot of people. So um, I'm gonna tell you though, don't spray your mask with alcohol. Alcohol works to disinfect on non-porous surfaces. It doesn't really do a good job on wood, fabric, or like an unsealed concrete or something like that. You really don't want to spray your mask with alcohol. Um, it's an unnecessary thing that's not really gonna disinfect your mask at all. So ideally you wanna just wash it with a gentle soap, a uh, fragrance-free soap, warm water, let it air dry, um, or pop it in the dryer. If you have a sanitation setting on your laundry machine, I suggest doing that. Um, one of the things that I love to do, and I do every time I have to go somewhere and I take my mask off, so, whoop, I'm gonna pop the mask on. This is, whoop, <laughs> This is Fifth Dimension's Opulence Mist. So this is a beautiful blend of neroli hydrosol, witch hazel, and glycerin. It is cleansing, it is hydrating, it's purifying, it's tonifying. I spray that in the area where my mask just was. That kind of just refreshes, disperses the moisture that was there. It kind of counterbalances the bacteria buildup and helps tighten the pores as well. Um, it's so nice. <laughs> In the summer. I can't even tell you how nice that feels right now, especially sitting in this deep south heat. So that is that is like my go-to product. I just keep this in my purse and it's been really helpful for me to keep my skin balanced after using a mask. The second product that I'm going to share with y'all is the Breakout Relief Toner. This is a botanical toner. So it's infused with whole plant, yarrow, and calendula. It is antimicrobial, it's lymph moving, and it is softening and wound healing. So yeah, that's a lot, right? So essentially the way the breakout relief toner works is if there's open breakout or there's an area that has a lot of bacteria buildup, it cleanses that. It's antimicrobial, microbial, right? In addition to that, it tightens the pores. It's astringent, so it's, it's toning the pores so you don't have an open pore. It's softening, so if there's buildup of the skin where your skin starts getting hard or rough, dry patches, things like that, it's gonna soften that, and it's lymph moving. So as your skin absorbs the breakout relief transdermally, it is gonna move the lymph. Lymph is super important for pulling um, excess from the face down into the body, and it's our waste elimination system. So it's a huge part of our immune system, and supporting the lymph right now is so important just in general for overall health, but it's really great for skincare. So that is an added bonus of the Breakout Relief Toner. There's a few ways you can work with it. You could soak a cotton pad and wipe your face down with it, or if you have an active breakout or active pimple, you could soak a cotton pad and hold it on there for about five minutes, kind of like a compress, and then let it, you know, just take it off. Um, you wanna use this for up to five days and that should shorten the duration of a breakout and you're really gonna see results pretty quickly with this because it's a very active, potent toner. 
Okay, like I said, I am sweating. So if you do have a breakout, I would start with the Breakout Relief Toner. I would also consider one of our super amazing face masks. In particular, I love the Stardust face mask. This is the Stardust face mask. It's an activating turmeric and clay mask. So what this does is it pulls bacteria, it pulls excess, it pulls waste from the skin, and it closes the pore down. So you can spot treat with it. I just use like a little paintbrush that I got at Michael's. I mix a little up and I'll just put it on the pimple. I let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then I take it off and I hit my skin with a little breakout relief toner. Um, if you have a little bit more sensitive skin, then I highly suggest the Radiant Rose Toner. It's a bit more gentle and it has a triple botanical element of rose, hibiscus, and rose hip seed powder in there. So it's going to pull impurities from the skin, but it's also going to like, kickstart cell regeneration so that you're going to see the breakout um, move on and your skin's going to repair itself pretty quickly. So those are the two masks that I suggest. You can use them as spot treatments. Um, they work really well as spot treatments. Again, just put them on, leave them for five to 10 minutes, take them off and remove with a toner. Next, we talked about the lymph, but before I get started on showing you the Guasa tool, I wanna talk about an, another holistic approach to skincare, which is the Daily Glow Skin Tonic. This is our internal wellness um, tonic. So I'm gonna, that is, I'm gonna take a little sip of my personal one, but essentially this is an alcohol-free herbal tincture and you just take it directly in the tongue. It tastes so good. It is lymph moving. It is supportive to the liver. It's supportive to the digestion and it's slightly calming. So you're going to notice that if you're feeling stressed, if you're, if you're stressed, your body is under strain and you're most likely going to see more breakouts. This supports the lymphatic system. Again, we know that that is our waste removal system. That is our part of our immune system. And it supports the liver, which processes a lot of hormones. Okay, the liver does a lot. I'm not gonna get into everything that the liver does, but liver directly impacts skin health. So in, in particular, can't seem to talk. <laughs> I'm so sorry about it. Okay, in particular, as I was trying to say, if you experience cyclical breakout along the jawline, you're going to love this because it supports the liver, which processes hormones, it helps eliminate, wa eliminate waste. And especially with wearing the mask, you're kind of looking at like that dual stress on your skin, the bacteria from the mask, the external factor, and also maybe some hormone imbalance that's causing cyclical breakout in the jawline, right? So the Daily Glow is going to be your best friend. If you take it two to three times a day, it's delicious. <laughs> and then, the guasa tool guasa is a traditional chinese medicine tool it has been around for thousands of years and um, it is just a healing modality that i find to be extremely useful for breakouts and for problematic skin and what i mean by problematic skin is that skin that is causing irritation and inflammation so it can be uncomfortable right and we don't want anyone to feel um, uncomfortable so this is one of my favorite tools to use you always want to make sure that you're using it with a high quality facial oil so when you use the guasa tool you want to apply face oil to your skin first and then you use the guasa tool for lymphatic drainage of the face so there's lymph fluid in the face and there's main lymph nodes down by the collarbone you want to drain the skin of the lymph very light pressure and then you always finish by going down to your neck I'm going to be posting a video of how to use the Guasa tool for lymphatic drainage, um, but just know that we have these in the shop and they're an amazing tool. Um, again, they've been used for thousands of years and they're one of my favorites. So that was just a quick and brief and pretty hot because I'm down here in Louisiana. We got a little cloud coverage, but I wanted to share with y'all some of my favorite ways to take care of your skin when you're wearing a mask because we should all be wearing masks. The pandemic is not over just because we're over it. So thanks y'all.